Thanks, Tony. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, George. Happy New Year. They're up a little higher. Hi, David. How are you? Yeah. This one? Uh, it's not, it doesn't go up. Maybe it's the other side? Oh, yeah, it's the other side. Uh, maybe it's going backwards with it. How's it going? It's going okay. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> Can it pay for you? I know, I know. So listen, New Year's Eve, I said, I like to talk to the kids because that's their chance to go down there. For New Year's Eve, they gave me hotel, um, dinner, and $200 for Sunday, and then $200 for Monday. They gave you a shuttle back and forth to the Madison and and then the next morning, this big, humongous breakfast, which I've never seen before. Everything from you can make your own waffles to everything. All included. It was awesome. I feel like they get, you get trips like that sometimes. Yeah, you know, and I, I asked um, if they had done it in the past. It was the first time I had gotten invited. And they said, yeah, they do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, I that's become my favorite. Do you know they pay out ninety percent of what they take in, which is the second highest casino I think in Pennsylvania. You know, um, David, the tables they have a lot of tables. Big.
Thank you. Thank you, Chief King. Thank you. Please remain standing as we salute the flag. Please remain standing as the national anthem will be sung by Brandy Miller. Oh, say can you see by the early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight but so proudly we hailed were so gallantly streaming, and the rock and our flag was still there. Oh, say not that star spangled banner is for the land of the free and the home of the free. Please remain standing as I invite <clears throat> John Sarnas to come up for the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations, God of power and might, wisdom and justice, through your authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. Assist with your spirit of counsel and fortitude, this mayor and council, that this administration may be conducted in righteousness and by enmity useful to your people over whom they preside. Encourage due respect for virtue and truth. May they execute the laws with justice and mercy. May they seek to sustain crime, vice, and immorality. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct the deliberation of this mayor and council. And shine forth in all the proceedings and laws framed for our role and government. May they seek to preserve peace and promote happiness and continue to bring us the blessings of liberty and equality. We ask this in your name, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You can now sit down. This is the reorganization meeting. This special meeting was called pursuant to the provisions of the open public meetings law. Notice of this meeting was published to the Jersey Journal and Star Ledger. In addition, copies of the notice were posted on the main bulletin board of the town hall, posted on the town website and filed in the office of the municipal clerk. Proper notice having been given, the municipal clerk is directed to include the statement in the minutes of this meeting. The clerk will now call the roll. Council members Eckel. Kanapka. Here. De Castro. Here. Casido. Here. Zapata. Present. Theodoropoulos. Here. Solano. Here. De Silva. Here. And Mayor Doyle. At this time, I would invite the Honorable Mary Costello, Judge Costello, to come forward. My granddaughter, Kelsey. Good evening, 
Would you say that for me? I, Carol Jean Doyle. I, Carol Jean Doyle. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And, and justly perform. All the duties of the office of mayor of the town of Carnegie. All the duties of the office of mayor of the town of Carnegie. According to my best ability. According to my best ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. I would now invite Second Ward Councilman Dennis Solano to receive the oath of office. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, the town clerk can hold the Bible. Okay. 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 Thank you. Holding it is up. Okay. Thank you. Raise your right hand, left hand on the Bible. All right. I, Dennis Solano. I, Dennis Solano. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. To the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of the office of council member of the town of Carney. All the duties of the office of council member of the town of Carney, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I would invite Councilman Renata De Silva to come forward. Bible is optional. You want to? Yeah, yeah, Martin, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so right hand, left hand on the Bible. Raise your right. Okay. I, Renato De Silva. I, Renato De Silva. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office of council member of the town of Carney. All the duties of the office of the council member of the town of Carney. According to my best ability. According to my best ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you so much. That's quite an honor to have our own judge swear us in. Thank you so much, Mayor Costello. That was Judge Costello. Okay, moving resolution one. It's a resolution appointing Castano Quigley Germani LLC Town of Carney for 2024 and approving a professional service agreement pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved.
Resolution two, it's a resolution approving professional service agreement with a law firm of Abruzzi, McDermott, Mastro, Murphy, and a law firm of Florio, Kenny Ravel to provide labor council services for the council year 2024 pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. That was DeCastro. Resolution three. A resolution approving the professional service agreement with Kenny P. Davey as assistant town attorney for the calendar year 2024 pursuant to the fair and open process. Second. Second by DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution four, resolution appointing Teresa M. McGuire as municipal court prosecutor for 2024 and approving a professional service agreement, agreement pursuant to a fair and open process. Second. Do I have a second? Right. Second, second by Pacito. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution six is qual a resolution qualifying McManamy, Scotland, Bauman, LLC, and Gibbons PC to provide services as bond counsel for the council year or calendar year 2024 pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Kanopka. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution seven is a resolution approving professional service agreement with the Wilcox and Company LLC as the town auditor for the calendar year 2024 pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Kanopka. All in you... favor? Wait. That was seven? That was yeah, seven. Skip five. Six. I, I did. Oh, five. I'm sorry. I skipped five. I apologize. Six. No, six. Six. No, did I did six. six. So Resolution five. five is approving the professional oh. service agreement with Paul W. Bruno Esquire as municipal public defender for the calendar year 2024 pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I second, second? second. Second by Vecito. All in favor? Aye. Resolution eight, it's a resolution appointing Brown and Brown Metro LLC as the town insurance risk manager for the calendar year 2024 and approving a professional service agreement pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilwoman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution nine, resolution approving a professional service agreement with Helix Real Estate LLC for the appraisal service for the calendar year 2024, pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. Second by uh, Councilman Kanopka. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 10, resolution qualifying various firms to provide environmental consult service for the calendar year 2024, pursuant to a fair and open process. Do second. I have a second? Second, second by Councilman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 11, it's a resolution qualifying Hire and Rural Associates, Neglia Group, and TM Associates to provide planning services for calendar year 2024 <laughs> pursuant to a fair and open process. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilwoman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Resolution 12, resolution authorizing an extraordinary unspecified service contract with the grant right management corporation for the grant consulting services pursuant to a fair and open process do i have a second 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 by councilman solano all in favor aye resolution 13 is approving a professional service agreement with community grants planning and housing for affordable housing planning services for the calendar year 2024 pursuant to a fair and open process second. do i have a second Second by Councilwoman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> resolution 14, it's a resolution appointing Stephen D. Marks, Fund Commissioner, and Joseph Massandria as alternate Fund Commissioner for the Garden State Municipal Joint Insurance Fund. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Pacito, Councilman Pacito. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 15, it's a resolution authorizing the temporary appropriations for the calendar year 2024. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilwoman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 16, it's a resolution designating the depositories of public funds for the town of Kearney. Second. Do I, 
Second by Rich Kanapka, Councilman Kanapka, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 17, resolution authorizing the establishment of petty cash funds in various departments of the town of Kearney. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Solano. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 18, it's a resolution establishing the rate of interest and year-end penalty for delinquent property taxes. Aye. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, Councilman De Silva, all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 19, it's a resolution designating the Star Ledger and the Jersey Journal as the official newspapers of the governing body pursuant to NJSA 10 column 4 8. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Zapata. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 20, it's a resolution appointing Councilman Jerry Fisito as council president for a one year term. Do I'd like I to make an amendment to that resolution, number 20. I would like the resolution to read resolution appointing councilwoman Eileen Echo as the council president for a one year term. It's always in the past, the council person with the most seniority was the council president. And Councilman Facito is fourth in seniority. So that's why I would like to make that amendment. This resolution 20. Is there a second? Second. Roll call vote. On on this on this uh, amended um, resolution twenty, and this is on amendment passes. Right. This is for the amendment. All those in favor of uh, the amendment. Yeah, we're going to do a roll call on Councilman Kanaka. <laughs> yes, for the amendment. De Castro. No. Pesito. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. No. Okay. Now, now we're going to met, uh, we're going to vote on the resolution as amended, and that would be for um, Councilwoman Eileen uh, De Ca uh, Eileen. Echo for uh, council president. Do I have a second? Second. Thank okay. you. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Council members Kanaka. Yes. De Castro. No. Basito. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. No. It passes. Resolution 21 is appointing the following named council members for the council <clears throat> for the committee preceding the names on the calendar year 2024. I'm only going to read those that are the um, chairperson. Ordinance Zapata, Finance Doyle, Police Facito, Fire Echo, DPW Shade Tree Facito, Water Kanapka, Buildings Facito, Licenses to Castro, Transportation Facito, Lighting, Theoropolis, Human Resources and Senior Citizens Echo, Legislative to Castro, Environmental Theoropolis, Recreation, Kanapka, Insurance Facito. Do I have a second on that? I would like to pull this resolution for a separate vote. Mayor? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. I would like to pull this resolution for a separate vote as I would like to amend it. Uh, specifically, the police committee. Uh, I would like to add um, Mr. Castro to the police committee and swap it, swap it with um, Solano to the fire committee. I think based on their work streams, I think it makes the most sense. In all due respect, you're a brand new councilman on here for one month and you can make that decision. I don't think so. Uh, we have 
try to pull this council together. Uh, what Councilman um, Panopka just did was the first person and first offense to what we've put together. You sat through this meeting when we had our caucus meeting and said nothing. And I know that Councilwoman DeCastro said that she wanted to serve and continue to serve on the fire committee. She also said she wanted to be in a police committee. So we discussed that. And because there was no volunteers at the time for the That's committees. Right. So I volunteered to be on that committee. Yes, I did. But I will, I remain on the, on the fire committee. And also um, the senior citizens and human resources. Um, I believe that um, Mr. Theodoropoulos should be in this committee um, as opposed to Mr. Cito. Again, I would like to point out, you just became a councilman and you can make these judgments. I've been on the Senior Citizen Committee for 27 years and so I've served with Councilman Facito. He's an excellent councilman to serve with the senior citizens. So I certainly take umbrage to that, uh, Councilman, in all due respect. Mayor, Mayor Doyle, in regards to this, um, I was not a part of the process. Um, and uh, I had a chance to speak to Eileen Eckel, and she wanted to step down as a chair of uh, the of uh, the Human Resources and Senior Citizens uh, Committee, and uh, have me be the chair of that so, committee. Okay. So, um, do you realize that you do the Senior Citizen Picnic? You're willing to take on that responsibility, Councilman? Yes. yes. So you're suggesting that I. Councilman Eckel come off senior citizens and you go on. Yes. Okay. You'll go on as second. As chair. As chair. Okay. I don't have a problem with that one. I do have a problem though, with trying to switch out councilwoman de Castro who has served on the fire committee. Uh, I do have a, a, an issue with that. So, um, on these committees, Councilwoman Eckel has agreed to come yes. off and you go on. Yes. And on fire, you still want to serve on the fire committee. Is that not That's correct? That's correct. And I don't have a problem serving on both police and fire. Initially at the meeting, there was no volunteers for the police. And that's, and correct. that's why I um, volunteered. From my understanding. Committee. Okay, so the way it stands on there. police now is Councilman Facito is the chair. Uh, Councilman Canopko is second, and uh, Councilman Solano is the third. Are we good with that? Do I have to take a vote on that with those two things? No, no, I don't think on these. So there's a, there's a resolution, right, with these people listed. So if there's an amendment, we have to make the same way amendment to this resolution with all the names. Um, it's a little awkward, but it, we do have it's to very do it's very awkward because this was all discussed in caucus. And so it's very awkward that they would come to a public council meeting and then do this. It's very awkward I, and disconcerting I like and disconcerting. Councilman, I'm not recognizing you at this point. So we are going to have to go. I would like to say something because you mentioned my name earlier, and I just want to say something about that. You said you had a caucus meeting and it wasn't mentioned for the council president. And I told everyone there that council president, since I've been here, was always the person with the most seniority. But that was not in writing. And I said that at the time, councilman. I said that at the time when you brought it up. You didn't bring up a name for it. You said, isn't this but by that, seniority? And I by said, seniority, yeah. and, and that was it. And you put a person's name there. And it wasn't the person with the most seniority. That's why I brought it up here today to make an amendment. And we voted on it. We didn't vote on it that night. We should have. We didn't. No, we didn't vote at all because okay. it's a caucus and we don't vote in closed. Exactly. There's a caucus meeting. Exactly. So there are no votes. But, but there it was, was always discussion. it's always been person most senior. You know, I don't think that's correct. Yeah. Right before you, um Sorry. Mayor Doyle, it was um um rest in peace uh, Barbara Sibeli Sherry. Yeah. And then before um she was she was not the longest serving, right? right? You were. 
Am I correct on that? That's correct. Okay, so it's it was that's that's the history. Of I that. said since I was on here for ten years, it's always been the person with the most seniority. That's what I can go by since I've been here. Okay, that's resolution twenty. That's been amended and voted upon. That's so I guess the question is, yeah. what are we doing with twenty one? Yes. So if there's a move to amend it, it has to be specific amendment on the floor for the council vote and. It is a vote of the council. The caucus, yeah, it's, it's advisory, but advisory, it's the yes. governing body that determines the committees. And so, again, if, if there's not consensus to vote for the entire list, then there has to be an amendment, unless you want to vote the entire list first, as currently written. Um, well, let's just do. Can we clarify the changes? Yeah. Yeah, we would have to do that if there's an amendment. Sure. What I suggested was to replace Solano with the Castro. Solano will go to the fire depart, uh, committee and the Castro would go to the police. That's based on the work streams. That's based on the it, interest. It's not based on the work streams. Councilwoman De Castro has served on the fire committee. Councilman Solano just got sworn in, so he hasn't been on fire. So that's what I'm saying. So you, who are brand new, Correct. have all of no. these great ideas, which you didn't bring forward. And where are you getting that information that it's a work stream, using that term? It is a work stream because Councilman Solano works for PSC and g and as far as I remember, Mr. Castro is a uh, registered nurse. Am I correct? That's correct. That's okay. why she serves on the Board of Health. Right, but we're not talking about the Board of Health. No, right? we're not. Yeah. But what does the nursing have to do with the uh, uh, fire department or police department? Ambulance. No, she's not on that. No. Mm -mm. Ambulance. That's Councilwoman Echo. So I'm a, I'm a nurse and I'm a public first responder. And I, I have worked with fire um, departments. And I've also served in the burn unit and have taken care of a lot of firemen as a nurse. So I am well aware of public safety in the fire department. As I continue to serve in this council, and I did serve in this fire committee this past year, I attended the events and I attended the meetings and my heart is with this community and is with the fire and police departments and all or every single department in regards to public health and safety. And that is my commitment to serve. So any questions on how I serve? You ask. I'm not questioning okay. how you serve. No, you obviously had a question about my occupation as a nurse and how I serve. Not so how I hope you that serve. clears it. Thank you. Not how you serve. No. And the last one was uh, the human resources and senior citizens. And that was uh, placing Ms. Etiordopoulos as the leader of the committee, the head of the committee. Um, and removing Ms. Ackle. I made a mistake before, Mr. Facito. Apologies. Okay. I think Mr. Solano wanted to say something. Yes, I did. I've been trying, but you guys are studying. But the um, reason why I wanted to be in the fire committee is because obviously I work for your utility company that's based. I serve Hudson County, mostly Hudson County, and I use keep same, the same PPE that firemen uses. So I was uh, trying to use my expertise on trying to, you know, better the uh, fire department on multiple things. That's the only reason why. And um, I don't have a problem serving the police committee as well. But since I work with gas, gas and, and fire, I uh, we usually work well with the fire department and uh, so, at my job. So, Councilman, would you like to continue to stay on the police? I just heard your argument, but under the circumstances where Councilwoman De Castro has been serving on the fire committee and has done an excellent job, are you asking for her to be removed and you put on? Is that what you're asking? I'm trying to figure it out because it's a little confusing. Maybe Stathis, do you do you want to step off the fire committee? No, I would like to continue serving on oh, the fire see? committee. So he'd like to stay on too. So this is becoming a real show. Let me tell you. If I if I may, 
believe, Councilman Zapata, yes. Thank you for recognizing me. Um, I believe a motion's been made to amend the resolution. I believe a motion's been made to amend the resolution. Um, while it's unfortunate that as the public, you guys are seeing some of the difficulties, the, the arguments that are being had with very apparent the both sides on this governing body. Mayor, you held a caucus meeting. You invited all of us in good faith. And I thank you for that. You invited us in. We all came in. We had a conversation. But right from the beginning of the conversation, it divulged from being an equitable conversation where both sides were going to be heard equally and treated with the same level of respect to it being whatever was decided before that meeting went in, that's how it's going to be. And it's unfortunate. It was brought up in the prior resolution that Mr. Kanapka brought up that the issues he's bringing up now were brought up in the caucus meeting. And while I understand that it may not be something that you agree with, it's, it's all of us here as a governing body. There's nine members on this governing body, if, if I may. And as we have these nine members, there's a plurality of us here that are asking to work with the other side. None of us want to see this dysfunction. This level of dysfunction is counterintuitive to the benefits of this government mm -hmm. and the promises and the ideals that our founders put in place when they envisioned this democracy. But that also includes having conversations on both sides. If we're trying in that caucus meeting to have a conversation and say, well, we think so-and-so would be a good fit for this committee, it's immediately shot down. And That is absolutely incorrect. Councilman Zapata, when Councilwoman Eckel, uh, when actually when Councilman DeCastro wanted to stay on fire, this discussion did not go into deep discussion at all. She was already on the committee, and almost everybody who has been on the committee, we left on the committee, and we tried to make room for Councilman Solano and Councilman De Silva. That's what we did, as we did when you came on first round, and as we did for. Councilman Theoropoulos. We've done that too. So now all of a sudden it becomes a big deal. I'm it, telling you. It's it, not all of a sudden. Well, it is a bit. It's uh, not it all is. of a sudden. We're having, trying to have this conversation. We're talking about unity. We've talked about it. And there's been nothing but disruption from five and six of you. I'm going to move it. We're Mayor Doyle, I think exception to that. May I say something? I'm extremely disappointed at the behavior of many of these, my colleagues up here. This masquerade that you say uh, you, you want to unite this council and you want to unite this community. I cannot believe how you sit up here and lie to the residents of Kearney. I cannot believe it. Respectfully. And if you're offended by it, respectfully, respectfully, I'm not done. You're not recognized. If you're offended by what I'm saying, you're offended by the truth. So are you offended by the truth? Or are you offended by me exposing the truth? Councilman, with all due respect, I take great, have, I I no take great exception to what you just said. Good. I have no issue with people that do not support me or have painted me whatever which way. I don't have an issue with what people say in public, on social media, about me or about my family. I have no issue. That's part of the of the profession we're all in. But this is the second time you have no. stood up, excuse me, sir, this is the second time you have stood up in public and have called not just myself a liar, but in a prior occasion you called the members of this governing body liars. And that, so why that, do is, you un, lie that is unbecoming. To the residents of our town. Hey, excuse and me. I take exception to no, that too. Good. 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 Proved to anyone Council here where I lie. Not recognized. I never lie to anybody when recognized. I sit on this council. All you that, do is try to disrupt everything this mayor tries to accomplish. That is not accurate. That is not true. Not at all. No. Yes, the only thing we are asking for is transparency because it's essential in a governing body for that everyone to be able. Uh, do we? Do we? So this is transparency then. If we cannot speak in a closed space, then we'll open it up and then we have a dialogue or a discussion. And that's okay. That's part of democracy. That is the essence of democracy, to be able to have a conversation, solve our issues, so then we can go on and do the best we can for the town.
And that's why we had the caucus meeting. Okay, let's move this uh, 21. We're going to move everything on it except the police and also human resources and senior citizens. We'll come back to that. I'd like Wait. to uh, second the amendment that was previously made. There was an amendment that was put on the floor. Well, I just pulled those two, so we're going to vote on them separately, Councilman. I, I just want to confirm on parliamentary procedure-wise, once an amendment's been made and there's a second, there should be a vote on it, correct? Well, can we do the 20? Should we, what, how should we do it? Should That's correct. Once a motion is made and seconded, there has to be a vote. A vote. Okay. Um, if, if it was, if the original yeah, resolution as written, as if the original resolution as presented tonight, want to take a vote on that, you can do that. Um, but there was an amendment proposed, um, although I'm still not clear exactly what that amendment is on all the. On That's why I wanted to pull those two. So we need to do that yeah. to be sure. And that if there is an um, amendment which clearly sets forth what the amendment is, and there's a second, then there's a vote on the amendment. So, I mean, it's up to uh, you, Mayor, how you want. Resolution, or if we want to move the amendment. Um, I guess we'll move with the amendment, because otherwise I'm going to have to go back and do each one individually. Is that correct? We could, we could do each one individually, but we, do, well, we don't have to. But that just really okay, prolongs. So then, the amendment on the floor. What floor? Council yeah, what? Over? Yeah. The amendment was to exchange, swap, move Mr. Solano to the fire committee and to move Mr. Castro to the police committee. And the other amendment is to place Monsieur Theodorampoulos as the leader, the head of the committee for human resources and senior citizens and remove Ms. Ackle. They're the only amendments. I would just like to add to that, being so um, serving in the fire committee this past year, also being a nurse, also have served in care for um, firemen, burn patients as a nurse, and being a public safety and first responder, that my commitment is there. Um, and if, if Councilman Solano does not want to serve on the police, I will also step up and serve on the police committee. Thank you. So that would be another amendment, right? On, on my scorecard? Yeah. In looking yeah. at the um, in looking at the position. So in police, rather than Aceto Canapka Solano, it would be Aceto Canapka De Castro. And for fire, rather than Echel De Castro Theodoropoulos, it would be Echel Theoropoulos Solano. Am I correct? I also wanted to continue, so that would be a second. Um, I'm sorry. I, to continue serving on the fire committee that I've served on. Okay, but that has to be, we're trying to come to what the amendment And then is. this, the third part of the amendment was Was to belt. substitute you, you for Eileen Echel for the, on the right. human resources and senior citizens. Okay, so we have that. Does the amendment? Me. Does Facito and Zapata remain on human resources as well? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. that's, that's correct. Okay. Okay, I'd like to move the amended uh, resolution twenty-one. Do I have a second? Second. 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 Probably do a roll by, call. Uh, yes, we're going to do a roll call on that by Councilman uh, Solano. Council members Kanapka. We're voting on the amendment. On the amendment. On the amendment. Right. Okay, not the resolution. Not Correct. Amendment. Just being amended. Right. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yes. De Castro. Vecito. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. No. Now I'll move resolution 21. As amended. As amended. Second. Seconded by Councilman Zapata. 
All those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Do we have to do that? Okay. Roll call vote, Madam Clerk, please. Council members, Canopka. Yes. Mr. Castro. No. Visito. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. Yes. Resolution 22, it's appointing the following council members as council liaisons to the agency, board, or entity preceding his or her name for the calendar year 2024. Board of Health, DeCastro, Industrial Commission, uh, Commission Theoropolis, UVO, Facito, Library, Echol, Museum, Doyle, Civil Rights Commission, DeCastro, Board of Education, Zapata, Facito, Municipal Court, Facito, KMUA, DeCastro, Emergency Squad, Echol, Community uh, Carney Development uh, Commission, De Silva, Hudson County, Doyle, Planning, De Castro. Do I have a second? Second. Second by <clears throat> Councilwoman De Castro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 23, it's a resolution. Aye. You want a roll call vote on that because everybody didn't oh. answer. Councilmember Skinaka. Go ahead. No. DeCastro. Yes. Pasito. Yes. Zapata. No. Theodoropoulos. No. Solano. No. De Silva. No. Mayor Doyle. I have a question. Why are we voting no on these? Mayor Doyle, I would like to pull this resolution for a separate vote and I would like to amend it. I thought I would be the liaison for the museum. I thought that we had agreed on that. No, you're on the board. So you're not you're not the liaison, you're on the board for the museum. I thought you said the liaison when we talked about this. No, I never said the liaison. I said I was keeping that. I never said that. I never said that, Councilman, ever. Where is that on the agenda? Do you remember the conversation that we had? I do. Yeah. Of course I do. Okay. Procedurally, so there was a motion seconded to okay. vote for this slate as it's listed. And there was a vote, and May, I think you're the only one that didn't vote. You want to vote as, as it currently exists? Yeah, I would vote. You would vote, yes. Yes, yes. But I think there was still more no which means that resolution was um, defeated. Now, as defeated, there could be an amendment proposed. And I think that's what Councilman De Silva is trying to do. And again, I'm just trying to keep the procedure in place. It's really up to the mayor and council what to vote, who you vote for. But so right now, 22 was rejected. Is there a motion to amend 22 to the point where it might get approved? I do not see yeah, I'm looking anything on the agenda in regards to the appointment. I, 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 I thought you were on. That is. Wait that a minute. Is, we're talking about liaison 22. 22. No, no. no, but I put, I uh, agreed to put him on the museum committee, and that's missing from here. That's just an oversight, Councilman. I certainly had you on there. But not as the liaison. I had you on as a member. I was under the impression that when we discussed that, that I would be the liaison. Thank you. I was under the impression, Mayor you Doyle. You can be. A, go ahead. I, let's just move this along. This is getting to be really nauseating to me. Let's just move it along. We're moving that. To, nauseating. Uh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Good. It's get. It's yeah. very nerve wracking. Yeah. Do you have to have this challenged all the time, considering how long you're on the council? Yes, I do. Nauseating. Be ready. Yeah, nauseating. No. That's the right word. Mm -hmm. Ad nauseum, too. All right. You know what? I'm taking myself off of the uh, museum as chair. I'll go to the meetings anyway. So um, we'll put in there De Silva. So was that the amendment to just substitute that was the amendment. Silva That's to the amendment. Her, uh, amendment. Mayor Doyle? Okay. Motion for the amendment? 
Uh, I'll move to our motion for the amendment. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Can we do that? All in favor? Amendment. Uh, aye. Amendment. Aye. Aye. You probably should vote individually. Sorry. Okay. For the amendment. Yes. <clears throat> Council members Kanaka. Yes. DeCastro. Yes. Lucido. Yes. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. Yes. Okay. Then the motion. Then motion to approve the resolution as amended. As amended. I'll move that. Is there a second? Second. Councilman Zapata seconded it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 23, it's a resolution designating the dates, location, purposes of the agenda for the town council meetings for calendar year 2024. I move that one. Is there a second? Second. Oh, second by Councilman Zapata. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 24, it's a resolution appointing Lila DeCastro Landowski, 6020 Bell Grove Drive, Kearney, New Jersey, as aide to the mayor for the calendar year 2024. Second. I have a second. Uh, mayor, can I have a roll call? Uh, count, I mean, Madam Clerk, can I have a roll call on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Councilman Kanaka, I'm sorry, the Kanaka. Resolution 24, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. DeCastro. Not voting. Pasito? Yes. Zapata? Yes. Theodoropoulos? Yes. Solano? Yes. De Silva? Yes. And Mayor Doyle? Yes. Resolution uh, um, Resolution 25, it's a resolution appointing Joanne Caratour, 440 Hickory Street, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Board of Health for a three-year term. Do I have a second? Second. Second by <clears throat> Councilwoman DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 26, it's a resolution appointing Teresa Arce, 50 Windsor Street, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Board of Health for a three-year term. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by DeCastro. Councilman DeCastro and Councilman Zapata. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 27, a resolution appointing M.R. Kennedy, 55 Halstead Street, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Board of Health for a three-year term. Do second. I have a second? I'd like to propose an amendment on this one. Oh. Here we go. What's here? Here we go. I would like to amend it to have re resolution 24R27, resolution appointing Mary Torres to the Board of Health for a three year term. Are you kidding me? Is there a, a second on that amendment? I'll second that. Second and by uh, Councilman Solano. I'll, I'll move that amended resolution. We'll have a roll call. Yeah, for the amendment. We'll have a roll call vote. Yes. DeCastro? No. Pasito? No. Zapato? Yes. Theodoropoulos? Yes. Solano? Yes. De yes. Silva? Yes. yes. Mayor Doyle? No. Now I'll move It's on. the resolution to adopt yeah. the resolution adopt. as amended. <laughs> I'll move the resolution to adopt it as amended. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call. Council members Kanapka. Yes. De Castro? No. Pesito? No. Zapata? Yes. Theodoropoulos? Yes. Solano? Yes. De Silva? Yes. Mayor Doyle? Yes. Uh, no. I'm no, sorry, no. no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was that passed. Yes. Resolution mm -hmm. 28 appointing Mary DeCastro, 10 Kearney Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as a class three member of the Kearney, board, Kearney Planning Board for a one year term. Do I have a second? I would like to amend the resolution. I would like to the resolution to read resolution appointing George Zapata as class three member of the Kearney Planning Board for the one year term. Who? Councilman George Zapata. George Zapata. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said, honest. Okay. I'm going to move the amendment to resolution 28. Is there a second? Second. A second. Second by Solano. Councilman Solano. No, no, no. He 
he moved it. So oh. he amended it. So who is it? So Councilman Solano. Councilman Solano. Pardon me? No, there are three, there are four classes on the planning board. Class one is strictly a mayor's appointment. Um, class four is strictly a mayor's appointment. Class three is a member of the governing body as chosen by the governing body. So that's why there's a resolution for this class three slot. Can we move the amended resolution? We'll have a roll call vote. Was there a second? There was a second by Councilman Solano. Council members Kanaka. Yes. DeCastro. Not voting. Pasito. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. No. Resolution 29, it's a resolution appointing uh, Council, uh, Carol Jean Doyle, 20 South Midland Avenue, Unit J5, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Kearney Enterprise Development Corporation, the KEZDC. I'll second. There's a second on that. Um, we'll have a roll call vote, please, on Resolution 29. Council Members Kanaka. Yes. DeCastro. Yes. Pasito. Yes. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. And Mayor Doyle. Not voting. Resolution 30. It's a resolution reporting Margaret, uh, Margaret Miller, 11 Laurel Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Kearney Enterprise Development Corporation, KEZDC, for a three year term. Do I have a second? Second. Second. second by the Castro. Castro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 31, it's a resolution appointing Wani Wong, 131 Midland Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Kearney Enterprise Zone Development Corporation, the KEZDC, for a three-year term. Second. The second. Second by Councilman De Castro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 32, it's a resolution appointing Kathleen Kirkeko, 6 Magnolia Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Kearney Enterprise Zone Development Corporation, the KEDC, for a three-year term. Second. All, second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, resolution 33, it's a resolution consenting to the appointment by Mayor Carol Jean Doyle to Christine Jablonski, 635 Belgrove Drive, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Kearney Public Library Board of Trustees for a five-year term. Second. Second. Is that all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that was seconded by I mean. Councilman De Silva. Thank you. Resolution 34, it's a resolution consenting to the appointment by Mayor Carol Jean Doyle to Valerie Perrin, 268 Stewart Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to fill the unexpired term of Bernadette Titterton through December 31st, 2025. Second. Oh. I have a second. Second. For what Five. unexpired term for what board? That's the library. library. Board. Okay. Because okay. it didn't say on. Um, <clears throat> Seconded by Councilwoman uh, DeCastro. All in favor? Aye. Resolution 35. It's a resolution appointing James L. Hill, 239 Highland Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Zoning Board of Adjustment for a four-year term. Second. Seconded by Councilman Zapata. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 36, it's a resolution appointing uh, William J. Pettigrew, 91 King Street, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Zoning Board of Adjustment for a four-year term. Second. Second. Seconded by Castro. Councilman Facito. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 37, it's a resolution appointing James Miller, 750 Passaic Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, to the Zoning Board of Adjustment for a four-year term. Do I second. have a I'd like to amend that resolution. Like to amend that resolution, resolution 2024R37, to read resolution appointing Brian Echo to the Zoning Board of Adjustments for a four year term. Spoke to Mr. Echo and he said he wanted to continue on that board. 
So see. that's the amendment I'm making to that. Not to prolong it, but procedurally, the original resolution was seconded before the amendment was called. Okay. So there has to be roll an call. Amendment. There has to be a roll call vote. Uh, for um, uh, for resolution James appointing James, James Miller. Miller. Okay. So Pat, can you do that? Certainly. Council members Kanaka. No. De Castro. Yes. Pasito. Yes. Zapata. No. Theodoropoulos. No. Solano. No. De Silva. No. Mayor Doyle. No. So now, now we'll move, an the, move and vote on the amendment um, to a uh, resolution 37. No, that's a roll see. call vote. Do no. I have a second? Council Member Smith. I'm sorry. Who's second? Well, uh, who's the second? Who's seconded by whom? I'll second. Yes. What are the amendments? Council Members Kanaka? Yes. De Castro? No. Pacito? No. Zapata? Yes. Theodoropoulos? Yes. 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 Solano? Yes. Yes. De Silva? Yes. yes. Mayor Doyle? No. Now we'll vote on the resolution as amended. As amended. I'll move that one. Do we have a second on the uh, resolution as amended? Second. By Councilman Kanapka. Council members Kanapka. Yes. De Castro. No. Decido. No. Zapata. Yes. Theodoropoulos. Yes. Solano. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Mayor Doyle. No. Resolution 38, it's a resolution appointing John F. Pettigrew, 185 Devon Street, Kearney, New Jersey, as alternate number one to the Zoning Board of Adjustment for a two-year term. Do second. Second. Second by Councilman Castro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 39, it's a resolution appointing Pablo Martinez, 190 Sanford Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as alternate number two to the Zoning Board of Adjustment to fill the unexpired term of John F. Pettigrew through December 31st, 2024. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded. Seconded. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, these are certificates of appointment. I'm appointing George Harris, 20 South Midland Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as Deputy Mayor for a one-year term. I'm appointing Melanie Ryan, 524 Davis Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as Deputy Mayor for a one-year term. I'm appointing um, myself, uh, 20 South Midland Avenue, Unit J5, Kearney, New Jersey, as a Class 1 member of the Kearney Planning Board for a two-year term. Appointment. Four-year uh, term. Four -year term. Four years. No, it's a two-year no, term. Two -year. Okay. That was a typo. So, yeah, that appointment runs concurrent Current with the mayor's, mayor's term. Yeah. Yeah. The term is two years left. Two. Appointment of uh, Anthony J. Shisari, 110 Andrew Avenue, Oakland, New Jersey, as a Class II member of the Carney Board for a one-year term. An appointment of Susan Evanchek, 25 Oakwood Avenue, Carney, New Jersey, as a Class IV a member of the Carney Planning Board for a four-year term. I'm appointing uh, Alex Valdez, 159 Linden Avenue, Carney, New Jersey, as the first alternate member of the planning, Carney Planning Board for a two-year term. I'm appointing Joseph Tapia, 160 Davis Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as second alternate member of the Kearney Planning Board for a one-year term. I'm appointing Ann Farrell, 542 Devon Street, Kearney, New Jersey, as the mayor's alternate to the Library Board of Trustees for a one-year term. Appointment of Christmas, uh, Christine Jablonski, 635 Belgrove Drive, Kearney, New Jersey, as a member of the Library Board of Trustees for a five-year term. That was approved by the resolution. Yeah, resolution. Yeah. yeah, that one too. And the same with Valerie. They're both on right. there. Appointment of April Amenta, 418 Elm Street, Kearney, New Jersey, as superintendent of schools alternate to the Library Board of Trustees for a one-year term. Appointment of Kevin McKenna, 34 Jefferson Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as a member of the Kearney Recreation Commission for a five-year term. Appointment of Lila DeCastro, 620 Belgrove Drive, Kearney, New Jersey, as a member of the Kearney Recreation Commission for a five-year term. Appointment of Joanne O'Malley, 100 Stewart Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, as a member of the Kearney Recreation Commission for a five-year term. Appointment of James Francino, 185 Magnolia, 
Magnolia Avenue, Kearney, New Jersey, an alternate number one to the Kearney Recreation Commission for a two-year term. Appointments of the following members of the Advisory Committee on the Environment and Sustainability for a two-year term. Alex Pranowski, 353 Maple Street in Kearney, Christopher Vasquez, 180 Brighton Avenue, David Mock, 25 Columbia Avenue, Kearney, Jenny King, 10 Woodland Avenue, Kearney, Jennifer Cullen, 32 Livingston Avenue, uh, Kearney, Denise Ganser, 48 Chestnut Street, North Arlington, Al, um, Alinas Albuzzi, 157 Linden Avenue in Kearney, and Peg, uh, Margaret Bixler, uh, 4 West Bennett Avenue in Kearney. Excuse They're me, Mayor. We have left off Christina Felix Montague, who should also be on that list. On this one? Yes, yeah, 77 William Street, Kearney. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, appointments for the following members of the Carney Museum for a two-year term. Aaron Farrah Martins, 52 uh, Pavonia Avenue, Carney, New Jersey, and William W. Dow, Jr., 137 Windsor Street. Um, at this time, <clears throat> I would invite the town clerk to um, give the uh, office, uh, the oath of office to both um, my deputy mayors, George Harris and Melanie Ryan. Could they come forward? They have family members here. <coughs> you wanna do them separately?
and I will. At this time, um, any of the council members that are willing to or have remarks that they'd like to share um, with the public, and then we're going to have all of the board members get sworn in. We're going to do that after. Councilman DeCastro. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Welcome and good evening. Thank you to the clergy, elected officials, Mayor Doyle, members of the town council, county residents, community volunteers, neighbors, family, and friends. Thank you for taking the time to join us this evening. Congratulations to Mayor Doyle on your election. It is a proud moment in Kearney's history, the first woman elected mayor, and you should be elated by your accomplishment. I look forward to continuing to work with you for our residents and the community we all call home. Congratulations and welcome Council Solano on your election and Council Member De Silva on your appointment as a Council Member. To all members of the Council, best wishes as we continue our service in, in the town of Kearney together. Many thanks to the residents of the First Ward for their confidence in me and my appreciation and thanks to all municipal officials and department heads and town employees that work to meet the needs of our Kearney residents. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our exceptional workforce, administration and the clerk's office, and construction code, DPW, health, fire, police, recreation, and finance. Many thanks to all municipal departments for their unending service and dedication to our community and to the residents of Kearney. I look forward to the year ahead in a positive light with great expectation. I, over I am overwhelmed with heartfelt gratitude and for many blessings I have received. I am reminded of how blessed I am to have an amazing family. My mom and dad, love you and friends to be a part of this governing body and community. Barney's history is rich and to be a part of it as a council member is truly humbling. Barney is a place of hope and opportunity and in unity through the dedication, hard work and commitment of the mayor and council. We will continue to accomplish remarkable goals for our community. As a governing body, we will continue to set goals for Carney through a shared vision so the Kearney continues to be a beautiful place to live, work, raise our families for generations to come. To my family, thank you for your unending guidance, love, and support. This evening, I rededicate myself to Kearney in the first word. I am honored and proud to serve our residents, and I will continue to do so with dignity and integrity. May all of you enjoy the year ahead in good health, peace, prosperity, and love, and every happiness. I wish everyone a happy, healthy new year, and I look forward to continue to serve in my amazing hometown. May God bless you, your families, the town of Kearney, and the United States of America. Thank you. Councilman Zapata. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches, boa noite. On this new beginning, we take a moment to look back this past year of everything that has happened. And I join with uh, Councilwoman DeCastro in congratulating you, Mayor Doyle. We may not agree all the time politically, but it is something worth noting to be the first female mayor in this town's history. That is something that regardless of wherever we stand, worthy of recognition. And I congratulate you as well as Councilman Solano and Councilman De Silva been a pretty busy year with regards to this governing body, uh, particularly with ordinances. We passed numerous ordinances, uh, something as simple as granting and removing more handicapped parking spaces to addressing our floodplain ordinances that affect the flooding in the areas of the fourth and the second ward and parts of the first ward as well. Um, and I believe parts of the third ward towards the bottom of the sake as well as beginning the serious discussion on tackling the parking issues that we have in town. I thank all the residents for coming out to all the parking meetings. Like I said before, we may not have seen eye to eye, but to have such an outpour of involvement and, and such a high level of civic participation 
It emphasizes how everybody is impacted by this issue and how we all, regardless of where we stand politically, want to fix the parking issues here in town. I look forward to working with my colleagues as we begin this new year and continuing to address that issue along with some of the numerous issues that we have in town. I want to also thank all of our department heads, as well as our town administrator, Mr. Marks, our town attorney, Mr. Jim Bruno, and particularly with Mr. Bruno for providing me with guidance and allowing me to really delve into the legal legalese of what comes to zoning and construction laws here in town, as well as really grasping uh, how local ordinances shaped, how the Faulkner system really structured here in town. And understanding all these caveats is what allows us as a governing body to really flourish. So I want to thank them as well as all the department heads from DPW to police and fire to our, our, our health department. Every single uh, individual that works for the town of Kearney, whether it be for a particular department, whether it be for our municipal utilities authority, or whether it be simply as a volunteer, you all contribute in making this town as great as it is. And I want to thank all of you. And with that, I will yield back to the chair. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Solano. Uh, I want to just congratulate you at being the mayor. And um, it's uh, been a long time that we've known each other from the KMUA. Um, you whispering in my ear, second this, second that, you know, showing me the ropes. And I really appreciate all that. Really appreciate your help and you showing me how to uh, to do everything on that aspect of it. All right. Thank you, Council. You're very welcome. And um, I also want to say thank you to the residents of the second ward for electing me as your councilman. I'm truly honored and blessed for this opportunity. Um, and I, uh, I am grateful for the opportunity to serve you and our community. And I am committed on working to address the concerns and, the, and represent the best interest in the ward, in our ward. Your support means a great deal to me. And um, thank you very much. And um, thank you for your confidence. And I promise to, uh, to do my utmost to fulfill the responsibilities entrusted in me. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Panaka. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor. Uh, before I get started, uh, like I said before, I've been on a council for 10 years. And before I read my statement here, I just want to make a comment about the calendar. This is the first year my name is spelt wrong mm -hmm. in it. So I don't know if anybody proofreads these, but it is spelled wrong. I know on social media, I'm told by neighbors, it's always spelled wrong, which I don't really care what's on social media because I'm not on social media, but in the town calendar, it was not right after 10 years. So a little disappointing. So I would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. I want to congratulate Mayor Doyle and Councilman Solano again for winning the election. I want to congratulate Renato De Silva for being appointed as the third ward councilman. I look forward to working with you and the rest of the council in the new year. In 2023, Carney had three mayors. I want to thank Mayor Alberto Santos, the longest serving mayor in the town of Kearney, and Mayor, P and mayor Peter Santana for their dedication to the town of Kearney. Each of you serve the town with the highest integrity. Last year on my agenda were the three pump stations in the second ward. The Devin, Devin Dukes Tap and Hoyt pump station. It's DDT for short, so going forward. The Harrison Avenue Stormwater Pump Station and the Sanitary Pump Station for Sanford Avenue. The Harrison Avenue Stormwater Pump Station has been completed and is online. The, DD, the DDTH pump station suffered geological setbacks last year that last year that was not not only that not only affected the residents but it affected the work that was going on it was not safe for the work to continue until 
the issues were resolved. And after speaking to negligent engineering today, the, those issues have been corrected. And last week, the, the work has started again on the DT, DDTH pump station. And at our next regular meeting, uh, David Silva will be giving us an update on, on that. The sanitary, sanitary pump station for Sanford Avenue went out for bid last month. And also at our next meeting, our town engineer will give us an update on that. I want to thank all our department heads for doing a good job this past year. I want to thank all the employees of the town of Kearney for making Kearney a great place to live. I want to thank the countless volunteers who donate their time and experience to the various committees and boards, to the volunteers, coaches of all the recreation teams without your support and volunteering or recreation programs could not exist. In closing, I look forward to working with the mayor and council in the coming new year to keep taxes stable and to improve the quality of life for all the residents of Kearney, and that is not a lie. I want to leave you with a quote from Benjamin Franklin, which I left also last year when finishing. When you're good to others, you're best to yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Kanaka. Councilman DeSilva. Good evening, all. I just got here. It's my first month. Um, I do have some ideas, Mayor. Sometimes we might not agree with them. Um, with all due respect, I think you're an amazing thinker. And uh, it's okay sometimes to disagree. Um, congratulations. It's lovely to see a woman in your position. It's needed. And I'm really proud of you. Um, my kids are proud of you. My wife is proud of you. Um, Politics can be messy. Democracy is a place for negotiation, talk, to be heard, to be able to push forward to a new setting. So sometimes we are not all going to agree. And that's okay. Because it's about the betterment of the town. Now I'm going to go back to my script that I wrote before. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to my family, wife, kids, my friends, my supporters, and the residents of the Third Ward and of Kearney, both past and present. Your encouragement over the past four weeks has been truly inspiring and continues to drive me in my role as your councilman. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. A special thanks to my fellow council members for their warm welcome and respect for my independent thinking, regardless of what that is, because sometimes we are not going to agree. I hope you value my input. I hope you value my ideas, as it is important to work together and to wrestle with those ideas. This is the modern world. The modern world is fast, it's fast paced. It's not about taking it easy and waiting. We need to be a step ahead. And sometimes when we are having these discussions, they will be fast paced and they will create emotions. And those emotions sometimes are not the best for everybody because not everybody agrees with everything that we say. So why did I decide to become a third ward councilman well, I'm going to quote Alexis de Tocqueville, who's one of my favorite diplomats and historians. When de Tocqueville came to the United States post American Revolution, he took a look at the state of our democracy and was highly impressed by it. And he said, My passion for liberty, for law, and respect for rights guides me. I'll tell you what, it's the same thing. As a teacher, as a school administrator, and now as a district leader for the Department of Education, and those are all things that guide me, makes me wanna do better. And I'm here to serve. 
Again, sometimes you're not going to like what I have to say, but I'm here to serve. I'm not here to be served by the town. I do believe in transparency. I do believe that whether it's going to happen or not makes a, an impact on our reality, in our reality. Transparent communication is the key to addressing challenges. And in order to create a shared vision, if we're going to work together as a council, we need to have that. My core belief is in establishing clear communication, understanding the issues facing the third ward that I'm serving in the town so we can move forward and into a better place. I hope that we can unite and work together. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Tocito. Uh Thank you, Mayor. Uh, congratulations. Mayor Doyle, Councilman Solano, Councilman De Silva, and I'd like to wish a happy new year to you, Mayor, and my fellow council members. 2023 was another year of uncertainty, but once again, the passion for our community has brought departments, local organizations, and groups, and individuals to help each other. To all of you and all our residents, I wish good health and happiness for the coming year. To the residents of the Fourth Ward, I am thankful and humbled to represent you and to be able to participate in this system of governance. I am committed that our achievements be not measured by the speeches we make or by the photos that we take, but by the vigor we put into the resolve of improving the quality of life of our residents, children, families, and our seniors. As a lifelong resident of Kearney, let me say, it's an honor for me to serve you, the residents of Kearney. I have lived in Kearney for 70 years. Kearney has always been a melting pot of cultures. All the different cultural dinners, dances, and events that I've had the pleasure to attend this past year again is always very exciting. It's exciting because that's what makes Kearney, Kearney. 2023 has brought us both challenges and rewards. Many of these rewards come in the form of community activities from the town, the community organizations, uh, that have blossomed throughout this past year. I've seen, and I think we've all seen, record numbers again for the uh, recreation-sponsored Fourth of July fireworks, the duck race sponsored by the Elks, jazz fest festival sponsored by the VFW, concerts on Belgrove Drive sponsored by recreation, and movies in the park. Record numbers of people have attended the dog parade <laughs> sponsored by the KUEZ and the tree lighting, the great parades our community participates in. And most of all, we treasure the new businesses opening in Kearney and welcome these new entrepreneurs. Kearney's blessed. We're, not, we're blessed not to have one, but we have three veteran organizations in our community that service our community and neighboring communities for veterans in need. Not only do they do that, but they service our community as a whole, from the youth to the aged in those, those twilight years. I've never been more proud the way our community has come together with the selfless collaboration, collaboration to take care of our residents. With the challenges that faced us all each and every day, we continue to witness local clergy, the generous business leaders, and numerous service organizations in our town opening their doors and resources to all who were in need. Our fire, police, health department, 
emergency services, who not only worked so very hard to keep our residents safe during this past year, but they volunteered their time, money, resources to take care of those people they all served. And to make our residents young and old, to make sure they're not hungry, and to make sure they have a coat on their back. I've said this before in this room. There's no walls around this Carney spirit. There's no barriers to impede the progress of that spirit. I'm proud to be a resident of this community, but even more proud, honored, and humbled to serve you, the residents that reside here. I thank all the retirees for their dedication to and commitment to our community and welcome all the new hires. Again, wishing them all the best the future brings. I say a heartfelt thank you to all of our municipal employees who came to work every day to keep our town functioning smoothly each and every department head and municipal employees in their respective departments persevered and worked very hard to keep our town running efficiently. I'd like to recognize the Kearney Police Department, Kearney Fire Department, Kearney DPW, Kearney Health Department, their chiefs and respective department heads, our town administrator, our municipal employees in all of our town offices, in the courts, in the library. I say thank you for a job well, well done. Thank you for allowing me to serve in the fourth ward and working with you, Mayor Doyle, and the members of this council. And again, I wish all our residents a happy, healthy new year, a 2024 that is filled with good health, happiness, laughter, and abundant blessings. Thank you for this time, Mayor. Thank you, Councilman Facito. Councilman Theodoropoulos. Thank you, Mayor Doyle. I want to first start off by wishing everyone in Kearney and beyond a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2024. And just to echo the sentiments of the council, I want to congratulate Mayor Doyle on her uh, win this past November. You know, Kearney is a historic town, and, and I, that's what I love about it. And woven into the fabric is our, our first duly elected female mayor, and I think that is a, a beautiful thing. And uh, I'm very happy to be serving on this council with you. Um, but I will also say, when I was thinking in what 2023 was going to be, on my bingo card as a councilman, I didn't think I would be serving under three mayors. And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge uh, Mayor Santos, who first gave me the opportunity to serve as a council member. And for those couple of months, six months or so, teaching me a little bit about government. Um, and then also a couple of months with Mayor Pete Santana, who allowed me to really get involved within government. Um, along with all my colleagues here, from Councilman Pasito uh, and the work that we did for public safety, I, I don't think we've had out of every issue that we could deal in town, public safety is probably number one that we've worked on the most, uh, from four-way stops to finding ways to stop speeding to make sure our residents in the fourth ward stay safe and everyone that I've served with on this council. A year ago, I sat in the seat being sworn in front of family, friends, and community for my first term. I stated that I was grateful to sit in the seat with a great group of public servants that did tremendous things for the town of Kearney for close to two decades. And, and, that, um, and that hasn't changed. I'm grateful to serve in the fourth ward. And I do not take my responsibilities as a councilman lightly. I'm here to serve our community, be a voice for our residents, and help to deliver as many positive policy outcomes as I can. And as I was from the beginning, I'm committed to seeing successful government thrive that serves the needs of our residents, but do so in a transparent, principled manner. And since last year, I still have that excitement, energy, and sense of urgency to attack our most pressing challenges to seize the greatest opportunities in front of us, together shoulder in shoulder with the mayor and my fellow council members. And last year, I brought up a couple of things that I was thinking about, you know, reimagining Midland Avenue as uh, a street that I walked through a million times as a child that really needs uh, an investment. Uh, being a voice for small businesses and seeing where we can support this community. And throughout the year, we've seen many entrepreneurs take the risk uh, to start their business in Kearney. And as a business owner, starting a business isn't just something you just decide to do. It's an investment and it's a risk. And to see them uh, investing their time and money into Kearney really shows what Kearney is. And it's a great town with great people that people want to invest in. Um, seeing how e-government initiatives can be weaved into our, our, our great works in our departments. 
and working with great groups like ACES and all the other um, groups like the Elks and the veteran groups to do great things in Kearney. And in the past year, I started scratching the surface of what, how we could achieve those goals. With former Mayor Santos, you know, I was a part of the conversation and interview process for hiring our public information officer, who I think was an incredible addition to the government to get information out to our residents. Um, being working with our ACES team with Christina, Chris, Jenny, uh, and everyone else, and we had a successful cleanup to make Kearney a cleaner place. Uh, and even we have 100 plus requests to plant trees in this coming year. And that just shows what a, a, a handful of dedicated um, community members can achieve working with our government. And one of my proudest moments was uh, helping host a family movie night with our recreation department, uh, along with the KUEZ, where we were able to have a special night where 650 kids showed up, played on bouncy councils, got their faces painted and watched the movie. But the, the, that was a special event, but it was there to show that we are here to support our families in town, but also that people want to come to Midland Avenue in the fourth ward and that foot traffic will equal more successes for our businesses on Midland Avenue. And, and I know for the KUEZ, we got the ball rolling for the redesign for Midland Avenue. I would be remiss if I didn't Thanks some wonderful people in government. You know, we had our wonderful department heads and our great employees in town from one end helping me learn about government and to help me address the needs of our residents. Because the greatest teacher to be a good public servant is our residents. And the pain points that they go through is our invitation to show up for them, to A, address issues, but also to see how government can change and transform to address their needs. And to the residents of the fourth ward, thank you again for putting me in a position to serve our town. It's been an intense year in many ways, but I'm anchored in the belief that government can make an impact in our community. And I will be deliberate in my thinking and principled in my actions. And at the end of the day, I'll always be here for the, the interest of our town and our long-term success. With that, I yield back to you, Mayor Doyle. Thank you so much. Reverend clergy, member of the town council, my fellow residents, thank you for being here for the, town's, uh, for the town of Kearney's annual reorganization meeting. This is an important day in our life, in our town, as many board vacancies are filled and so many dedicated volunteers are given the opportunity to be service to our community. To every person who has said yes to serving, I say thank you. Please know your dedication does not go unnoticed, and I'm grateful for all of you and all of your service. A special thanks to Chief George Harris and Melanie Ryan for agreeing to serve in the honorary position of Deputy Mayor. Both George and Melanie have given selfishly of themselves for the betterment of Kearney, and I'm grateful for both of them for both, for both willing to serve. Thank you. Just two months ago, I became your mayor. If you had asked me a year ago if I would be mayor, chances are the answer would have been a resounding no. But a lot has changed since then, and in that time frame, it's been the honor of a lifetime to serve as your leader. But make no mistake about it, between then and now, it has not been easy. Tonight was a perfect example. You've seen what happens when the electric votes for one direction and others decide they may not know better and attempt to take the town in a different direction. We saw this happen before in Kearney's history, and it's never led to anything but difficulties. That's why I'm pledging to you, the residents, and to my colleagues on the town council to do what the voters sent me to do, and that is to lead Kearney without the outside in interference of people who are no longer in office. The people spoke on November 7th, 2023, and their message was clear. They wanted a new direction, and that was and continues to be the direction we will travel. On this third day of January, I pledge residents <clears throat> to the residents, and I pledge to my colleagues that to do everything within my means to make such divisions that have plagued us for the past few months to go away. But I can't do this without everyone's cooperation. We must come together starting today, tonight, and to do what is right for everyone in this room and for the 40,000 plus residents in Kearney. 
If we don't, the ones who will suffer the most aren't sitting on the dais right now. Instead, it will be the people of Kearney whose voices were heard loudly and clearly in November. To me, nothing could be more unaccept unacceptable than ignoring their vote. The last year has certainly seen its share of non-political challenges. We saw that over the summer when countless residents came out to five meetings to offer opinions on what would be the best for us to do with parking. For those meetings, it was clear the residents do not want a parking authority, nor do they want a parking utility. And I remind you all today that that will not happen under my administration. Last month, I asked all the members of the town council to take their notes from those meetings and to submit them to our town administrator, Stephen Marks. Later this month, we'll sit down to analyze those notes and come to a consensus to the best direction we can take. This will not be an easy road to travel, but we'll get there in one way or another. We've seen a tremendous growth in the town's population. Because of this, our emergency services have no doubt been very tested. But I want to assure you under the leadership of Police Chief George King and Fire Chief Joseph Misandria, our first responders will always have all they need to continue to keep Kearney one of the safest communities in Hudson County. Together, we will make certain that this never changes. We've also seen over the last few years a massive change in the cost of living in Kearney. Rents and the cost of buying a home here have never been higher. And this has been a great challenge to many of our people who have lived here their entire lives, trying to meet the rents, rents and, the <clears throat> and the expense. I pledge to you to continue to look at this problem in detail and do what we can to make sure Kearney is affordable for all of our renters and our owners. The county has offered their assistance and I will be reaching out to the county executive, Craig Guy, to continue our discussions. I'll continue my ongoing pledge that the new redevelopment in Kearney is done without any use of payments in lieu of taxes. Perhaps at one point they were very necessary. You, the residents, spoke loudly and clearly. You told me you wanted everyone to pay their fair share in taxes as you do. We will ensure you that just in 2024 and will continue to hold the line on municipal spending. There has been no municipal tax increase over the last few years and my goal is to continue that. It won't be easy, and that does not mean taxes won't increase either on the school or the county level, but we'll do our best. We will continue to operate the town in a physically sound way that always is offering the most important services to you, our residents. Friends, 2023 has a lot of, was a lot different than any of us ever expected it would be. We saw three mayors, lots of arguing, and lots of change. But one thing has remained very constant, and that is Kearney is a wonderful place to live and a tremendous area to raise our families in well-protected and safe community. That will continue in 2024, and I'll always do my part to make sure Kearney is an example to the surrounding communities. Let us look ahead to the new year. Let us work together to continue moving the town of Kearney forward. When we work together, the possibilities for Kearney are endless. In closing, I want to thank the town employees. Your dedication allows the town to look good. Some work hard to keep us financially stable. Some of us protect us. Together, working as a team allows the town to run smoothly and resolving day-to-day -day issues. I'd like to welcome Dennis Solano from the second ward and also Renata De Silva in the third ward. I'm also giving a shout out to my Wonder Women supporters. You allowed me to stay on track as you collectively work hard in the background and I appreciate each one of you. To my family and extended family, <clears throat> thank you for allowing me <clears throat> to continue to serve the town I love so well. I could not do what I do without your continued support. I wanna thank again, all of you for being here tonight your continued support is the encouragement we need sometimes, sometimes more than others. What I have learned on this journey called life, the paths taken provide moments to remember and forever cherish in our hearts. 
And with that closing, I thought, with that closing thought, I want to wish everyone a healthy, very happy new year for 2024, a year filled with good health, joy, and new beginnings. And I thank you. I'd like to rec. I've got that. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to recognize Assemblywoman Barbara Stonato. She's here. Thank you, Barbara, for coming out. Remember her face. Uh, we will call on you. Thank you, Assemblywoman, for being here. I'd like to also announce that we have a meeting put together for January 23rd at 6.30 at Roosevelt School. That's to um, have the presentation for the Greenway Project uh, to go over the old rail line. So please mark that date down. It's um, January 23rd, 6.30 at Roosevelt School. Um, and we really need everybody there for that. Uh, I'd like to call out a young man who is here. Um, he's a sophomore in Kearney High School. His name is Alec. Alec, I don't know if I can even say your name right. Penzalonowski, are you here in the audience? I want you to please stand up. This young man wrote me a letter and he's a, very concerned about the environment. I think he is the youngest person we've ever put on a committee and he's going to be serving on ACES. Alec, congratulations. When, when we have young people that step forward with an issue and write in such detail, we certainly need to recognize them. They are our future in Kearney, and it gives us great hope. So, Alex, congratulations. Now, with that, as tradition, anyone who has been appointed to a board or a committee, this is your opportunity to stand up. Um, when um, are you going to do that one for us? Okay. The town clerk will read the uh a proclamation and what you'll do is you'll put your name in and when she says serve on say your committee out loud okay well all of those people who have been reappointed reassigned maggie i know you're out there stand up valerie mary lila recreation Alex, is he there? Okay. Okay, are we ready? Is everybody ready? So you This is when you raise your right hand. I state your name. Do solemnly swear. I swear. That you will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey that it will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the, and to the government established in the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people, I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office of according to the best of my abilities, so help me God. And congratulations. Of sorrows to please come forward with the um, benediction. Deacon, turn the mic on. I think it's off. There's a button. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Is it green? Okay. You got yeah. it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we stand before you. Come to us. Remain with us and enlighten our hearts. Give us light and strength to know your will, to make it our own, and to live it in our lives. 
Guide us by your wisdom. Support us by your power, for you are God. You desire justice for all. Enable us to uphold the rights of others. Do not allow us to be misled by ignorance or corrupted by fear or favor. Unite us to yourself in the bond of love and keep us faithful to all that is true. As we gather in your name, may we temper justice with love so that all our decisions may be pleasing to you. You live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Before I have a closing so I have my friend here. She's been sitting there with those flowers for two hours. For those of you to come on up. Good evening, everybody. Oh, it's okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am Arjuman Juveria from Jersey City. Basically, I'm a pharmacist and community activist. And uh, congratulations to our mayor and all elected officials. Uh, I'm a very big fan of yours. And uh, uh, all the best for your future in US. Thank you so much. And I'm a fan of yours, as you know, because you are so helpful to all of our residents. And this year is the first year that we're going to have the light recognizing Ramadan and, and the Muslim community in the town of Park. Okay, if I could ask Brandy to do our closing song. Thank you so much. Join with me in singing Irving Berlin's beautiful American hymn of peace, God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies. To the oceans, white with gold, God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Now, Batty, number two. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Derek Tita, number two. Uh, I, move, I move to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. It's good to have a lot of experience, like Carol does, being a councilwoman for 25 years. So she knows all the, you know, all the rules.